Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to um, make a, a video, an update video on uh, our athletics program. Uh, we are getting close to the end of January, which means we're getting close to the end of uh, winter sport, which is basketball. And uh, of course that means we're getting close to spring sports and hopefully warmer weather. Uh, at the moment, that doesn't seem uh, like it's going to happen anytime soon, but uh, we can only hope. Uh, so a few announcements that I have, um, our cheer mini camp, uh, it is going to be rescheduled. It was supposed to be this Friday. It's going to be, uh, Friday, February 4th. Um, we've got some, of course, uh, potential weather issues, uh, on Friday. So, uh, we're going to move it back uh, to February 4th. It'll be the same time. Uh, so the camp will last from 10 a.m. Uh, to 12. And then uh, registration will start at 9.45. Um, registration costs for the camp is $25. Um, so as a parent, you will uh, register uh, when you get there. And then um, uh, the kids who will participate, um, they'll go from 10 to 12. Uh, so you can pick them up um, at, at 12 o'clock. Um, so this Tuesday is our next uh, basketball uh, home games. Uh, we have middle school boys, uh, JV, and varsity boys uh, against Greater Cabarrus. Uh, we had a, a pretty neat um, Christmas night uh, against Greater Cabarrus uh, about a month ago, and they'll be back to play us on Tuesday. Uh, we will have a theme. Uh, I'm working on that theme now, uh, so I uh, will announce that hopefully this weekend. Um, I think it'll be a pretty cool uh, theme, um, and of course, uh, you know, our students, if you got any other ideas for theme nights, whether it's for basketball or for boys volleyball coming up, just let me know. Um, we always want to have fun, um, and we want our students to come out and support our teams um, and have fun doing it. So if you got any theme ideas, let me know. Um, but uh, for this Tuesday, uh, I'll announce the, uh, the theme uh, this weekend. Uh, spring sports are coming up, uh, so uh, the girls' soccer parent meeting, um, that will be this coming Monday, uh, January 24th at 4.30. Um, it will likely be in the sanctuary, uh, but I have to confirm that. Um, <clears throat> as long as uh, one parent can be there, that would be great. Um, if uh, for whatever reason, neither parent could be there, please uh, just send me an email um, and we will, uh, after the meeting, we'll send you um, what all we talk about um, and all the information that you'll need to know. Um, uh, soccer will start, all of our, our uh, spring sports will start February uh, 14th. Um, that is the first week that spring sports will practice. Um, and then, of course, we'll go over everything else during parent meetings. Um, the golf team parent meeting will be uh, January 31st at 615, and that will be in the sanctuary. Uh, so again, the golf parent meeting is uh, January 31st, it's a Monday, at 615 in the church sanctuary. Uh, so if you are interested in golf um, and you haven't uh, either emailed me or Coach uh, Bernardo, Please uh, let us know. Um, we have, um, I think we're about at seven players right now, uh, which is healthy. Um, so if anyone else is interested in playing, uh, please let us know. And the parent meeting is on the 31st. Um, so uh, I've sent out uh, a few emails um, and I've put this on social media. Uh, we are looking for a few parents to uh, help us out with our um, golf tournament fundraiser which will be uh, this fall uh, we do not have a date set yet um, this fundraiser uh, we are, are really excited about um, we think that uh, we can get a lot of people within our community involved um, and it will help our athletics program a lot um, so if you are interested in being on our planning team uh, please send me an email. Um, the, the rough kind of schedule uh, will have a few um, 
Zoom meetings this semester um, just to go over basic details um, and kind of get everyone's role. Um, Mike Stricker is going to help us out as well. I know some of you may know him. Um, he's, uh, he's been a big help and he's going to help us out as well. Um, so uh, we need about three to four more. That would be great. Uh, parents who could help out on this team. Um, it will ramp up, you know, as we get closer, like in the summer, um, in terms of uh, more meetings and um, and uh, just you know preparing to set up and, and everything like that, uh, the promotion of it. So if we could get about three to four more parents on our uh, fundraising team, that would be awesome, um, and then we can really uh, start to get going. Um, with our planning. Um, so that's uh, the fall fundraiser. Um, we are planning a smaller spring fundraiser. Um, I don't have much detail on that yet because uh, we're still planning it. Um, but we would like to have uh, a smaller fundraiser this spring. Um, and those fundraisers um, will, will go towards lessening um, registration fees um, you know, in order to play, um, it will help us with gym improvements. Um, you know, there's multiple areas where we really think we have a lot of potential to improve um, our gymnasium and the experience um, that everyone can have in that gym. Um, so we're we're really excited about the potential of that. Um, of course, equipment that we may need. Um, uh, of course, we've uh, we've got a weight set, we, uh, a weight set that uh, will be set up soon, um, and, and equipment that will help our athletes develop uh, physically. Um, it's something that I think is important, and it's a it's that next step uh, for us as a program um, is giving our kids the tools um, that they need to be the best athletes that they can be. Um, so, uh, both of these fundraisers, uh, will go, you know, towards those things. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the potential is, is, is so high here, uh, with our school and our athletics program. Um, you know, the more I think about it and, and the farther along, um, you know, we're getting into this year, um, uh, we can see, um, that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but we need your help. We need help of parents um, and volunteers, um, whether it's a fundraiser, um, you know, whether it's uh, just helping out with, with games, uh, volunteering. Um, so I can't wait for uh, the rest of this year and then uh, going into next year. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cool things on the horizon uh, that we just have to plan out and um, and once we have the resources, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're growing, and um, we're growing as a school. We're growing as an athletics program, and um, I I'm just I, I'm super excited. Um, there's there's so much potential here, and um, what we're planning for each sport and our program as a whole. Um, we're going to bring Arbor Brook Sports to the next level. Um, so that will take a little bit of time, but uh, we've already seen um, a lot of improvement in certain areas. And then as we keep going, as we keep um, growing, uh, we're going to see improvement in a lot more areas. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited, and I hope that you guys know that. Um, I'm so excited for our kids and our families. Uh, to be able to experience athletics here at Arbor Brook and um, you know just to, to be able to to grow as young men and women and um, to be able to um, develop athletically the best they can um, and give them the best opportunity um, also uh, just an update with our a few of our coaching searches um, so of course we are adding cross country and tennis. Um, we are making some progress there, so that is good. Um, uh, boys soccer, we have made some progress there as well. 
so uh, this week and next week, um, we've got some meetings, and um, of course, I, I can't, you know, not, there's nothing to announce um, or anything like that, but uh, I am excited about uh, some potential candidates that we have. Um, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and uh, hope we don't get snowed in this weekend, and um, we'll see you next week when uh, basketball host Greater Cabarrus on Tuesday the 25th.